Hello, how you doing Mike Bradley? I hope you are doing well as always. Um, I always get asked uh, to do vlogs. So I thought I'd do a little uh, pedal board update, tidy up vlog. Uh, and should say, I apologize, uh, I'm not my usual uh, enthusiastic voiced mic. I'm getting over a horrible case of flu. Oh, aches, shivers, pains, anyway. My pedal board. This is my current main board. Um, it's a T-Rex board, what I've had for, oh man. I think I got it in 2012, I think, something like that. It's one of the first videos I ever um, did on YouTube when I started mucking around with it. I'll put a link and put a card up or something. This is the board. I've got my Exotic Wire, which is my recent one. I love it. King Fuzz. Um, by Bigfoot, Seymour Duncan 805, uh, Mini Spark Boost, Angry Charlie, uh, Boss Tuna, MXR Phase 90, Chorus, uh, Boss Chorus, Hall of Fame, Vapor Trail, Seymour Duncan Delay, and then Power by the Pedal Power. So that's the board. Um, what upsets me with it, it's not tidy. Um, and it's got some old leads on it, which I've had and things like that. I still need to get some new leads, really. Um, but I've got a new pedal, which I'm very, very excited for. It's an Ernie Ball volume pedal, uh, the VP Junior. I think it's a 250, 250 something hertz one. Um, it's been, I've been wanting the volume pedal for ages, finally have one. So now I need to find space on this board but what's really cool with it, it's got a, a separate input for the tuner, so that can go in it, and basically I'm thinking there's one less pedal it's going through. Fair enough, this Boss uh, tuner is apparently buffered, but um, I think it's cool that it's kind of one less pedal in the chain now. So I need to tidy the board and try and fit this on. Um, also, my Spark Boost, um, is busted if I come in here now when I say busted it still works but I lost the kind of the two washers around it so it's kind of all over the place so you've got to be kind of careful it kind of cuts in and out when I'm playing live you know bear in mind I probably do about oh man I don't know how many gigs I do a year 50 60 and then I do a lot of studio stuff and if there's rehearsal as well so I mean this board it's, it's a bit tatty, um, also with the T-Rex board, you can't, well you probably can, but with the pedal train ones, there's a, it comes with like a bracket to put the Voodoo Labs under, um, so I've got to have the Voodoo Labs kind of on, on the board itself. Um, I just, the thing with Instagram, and I'm sure we're the same, you see Instagram posts, and people have these such clean, amazing boards, and I'm like, oh, I want that, you know, but they're so damn expensive. I did get a new lead as well. Did get a new lead. Uh, one new lead, which cost about 10 pounds, <laughs> but uh, I wanted an extra long one. Um, but, so with this Spark Boost, which is a bit uh, knackered, the lovely guy, Andy, from Real Electronics, um, I was speaking to him, and bless him, he sent me some washers for it, which is great. Um, so you've got this here, and that will go on top, don't I need a washer on top of that. Unfortunately, the other two washers do not fit on this pedal. <laughs> Won't fit. And it's just too, too small. If it needs to be like just a little tiny bit bigger. So that's really, really frustrating. So I've got the big bit. I just need to get, get another washer, which is uh, a bit frustrating, but sell a V. So I'm going to uh, take everything off, uh, get, fit this volume pedal on. Uh, I believe it's passive as well, so it doesn't need any extra power, which is handy because I'm powered out on the, power, uh, the pedal power. Um, but I expect there will be another video at some point with a brand new board because, um, like I say, it's a bit tacky. Um, the Velcro is kind of coming off now and things like on the actual pedal board itself. So anyway, I spoke far too much and this is wearing me out just doing this. So um, let me take everything off. That really annoys me when Velcro comes off. God. Sick. Look at that. God's sake. Really 
really annoys me. Really annoys me. God, it's a massive bit of Velcro as well. That's a clear back, so it's the cheaper Velcro what certain boards come with, I think, what make that happen. So here's the board with everything off. I've left that on because um, I want to make sure that can stay on there. Um, you can see it's a bit grimy. <laughs> like I say, I've, I've used it all the time since 2012. Um, now I know that could probably, not probably can, look at that, pat tested, um, go under here. But with the pedal power, there's those two... Um, like holes there and you can put the plug in it um i don't like the idea of putting a kettle lee kind of underneath here um yeah i might end up getting a pedal train um we'll see it all costs money so that's the board now uh those are the leads i've got on it um now i don't really want to be using this anymore so i want to be getting rid of this type of lead um, I want to be using, you know, reasonably good leads now, um, not this one, I don't even know what I like. These are just leads I've picked up, put it in focus, uh, over the years, got some T-Rex, MXR ones, but I needed a long one, so as you can see, that's quite a long one, because I'm left footed, so when I have my wire here, and then it was going into the spark, which was there, I kind of need a reasonably, I don't think I use it for this one actually, whatever I use it for, everything's kind of backwards, um, because I have the wire there, then it goes over there, where most people have the wire on this side, go in, and it's all right. But because I'm left-footed, a bit different. So, let's try and um, see if I can fit this on, how it'll look, and things like that. see the problem having this pedal power on top is causing so obviously I've got no leads here I've just as you saw I've been trying to just get a rough guide um, it, it's a problem having that if that pedal power wasn't there we could get work in it um, I want to have a gap there so I can because I usually always have the wire first so I want to have a big enough gap there uh, so I can get to it um, that being said, I don't need to have the volume next to... Let me keep thinking. Here's the situation. <laughs> My terrible Irish accent. So this is how it's looking now. Um, and obviously no leads are done. I like the look of that. All right. Now there is the Voodoo Labs. So what I was saying earlier about I would like to have it under, but I have to have to string tie it and all that kind of stuff. Um, I have to somehow get that under or go and get a new pedal board. Um, <clears throat> So I'm going to first thing try and string tie it because I've just found some string ties. I've got a little mini pedal board which is in that case. Um, that's a mini pedal train one and it came with these string ties. So again, <laughs> everything is screaming pedal train for me at the moment. Um, so I'm going to see if I can string tie that pedal power um, for the time being. And then, like I say, I will eventually sort out of getting a pedal train could even like they got more gaps like in the t-rex it's like this kind of big oval shapes um for the leads to go through and there's it's a whole bar of it so yeah i'm gonna have to go for that i think but um yeah we're gonna try and do that but like i say i look at it and think oh it'd be cool to have like a switcher you know a midi switcher or something like that 
um, but that will all come in time. So my battery is getting low on this camera, really annoyingly, but I'm gonna try and tie this pedal power <laughs> on the board. Hello, again, once again. It's uh, about a week, I think, after I did my last video with me ripping my whole pedal board apart. <laughs> and now, I've got a great big case. Sorry, not the greatest lighting in here. I'm at my, at my gaff at the moment. But I have ordered a pedal train. And I've got the hard case one because my T-Rex on the bag lasted about a few months and obviously I use it a lot so um, I thought let's go with the hard case so uh, thank you to Westside for giving a little salute and a shout out to Westside for uh, sorting little Mikey out so let's open it up so that's the Velcro we'll talk about that so here's the board so here is the new board, it's the exact same size as my last one, but first thing, uh, well, first of all, the pedal power was already attached to it, which I'll talk about in a second. But what I love straight away is that it's got a whole gap in the pedal train ones, as opposed to the T-Rex. T-Rex just has those little kind of uh, oval shapes, I guess you can call it. So um, at least now, you know, it's a lot more free to be able to put your leads and whatnot through. And it's got the pedal power, which is on the back. So uh, this wasn't filmed, but it was done yesterday. Um, actually, I got my mate to kind of sort out some screws for me. It comes with screws, but we just put some, he had some, he's a lecky, so he's got some high, high duty ones. So that's all there now. So now what I need to do is Velcro this bad boy up. And I normally left my other uh, little uh, selfie crane thing at home, but we'll make do. It's all velcroed. There we go, got the velcro up. I get a little bit anal and <laughs> I like it to be completely neat and perfect. And uh, actually I found this one a little bit trickier when I did it before um, on my smaller board, but we are down. I always go with the kind of um, hard bit on it just because all my pedals have the other rail. Here's an example, the kind of fluffy bit on it. So um, yes. Right, so next up now on velcroed up is uh, cabling. And uh, I've got quite a few patch cables and stuff, but if anybody saw my Instagram and Facebook post, I am boycotting the coloured red, green, yellow, blue leads, uh, the kind of four pound patch cables, no more, getting rid of them. The problem I have is, um, I can't remember if I mentioned it before, I'm left footed, so I have my one on the left, and I need to kind of take quite a fairly long lead to get to the next pedal, you know, which will be uh, the spark boost. So um, I have ordered and got uh, some evidence audio patch cables. Uh, now I have never used these before. Um, I've, I kind of got an idea how to put it together. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube and stuff like that. So um, now these were quite expensive, these are like 60 pounds. Um, so, and you only get four cables out of it. So yeah, quite expensive. Um, but I thought, well, the main thing I want is the long one. And the one I was using before was a long blue cable I probably had for about 10 years. So, uh, and then I'll make some other ones as well. So yeah, this should be uh, interesting. So far, I haven't filmed the whole thing, but this is my test run of it. Less. <laughs> That's the first bit. Um, annoyingly, I haven't got the right pedals here, so, um, I'll be doing a bit more filming tomorrow. This is gonna be one of those vlogs. I did it. 
I did it. So this was a, a test run. Um, I haven't actually plugged it in to make sure it's working, but uh, I'm confident. But uh, I will do the rest tomorrow, and I will on camera show you how I did this, which then of course will go drastically wrong. Right, so let me show you how you get this on here. Um, like I say, this would be technically now my second time doing this. Uh, <laughs> if I can do it, anyone can do it because I'm not uh, very savvy with this kind of stuff. But um, And this is kind of my first time using wire snippers. So um, we want to get a bit of this uh, off here. Of course my car just ran out of memory, but right, never mind. So I want to have about that much kind of coming off here. So I just kind of mint, there are probably people watching this going, this is some, there's other ways to do this. I like to just score it and then get the thing off that way. And then it just slides off like so, woo! Right, so, slid off the plastic sleeve and then it exposes this uh, copper foil. Now you kind of undo all that and it just naturally comes off. And when they get to the, the kind of black part of uh, the wire and just kind of, I don't know, twist it. And then you fold it round. Twist that a bit more. Just kind of fold it round. And now you need to kind of get this black bit off. And last time I just did it with my nail. There we go, yeah. And then we're exposing like this white. There you go, so now focus. So you can see now I've got this kind of white bit. And now I need to get my little snips again and just, uh, not snip, sorry, <laughs> strippers and just strip back that white bit. There we go. Now that there has got this kind of copper core, which is uh, the main kind of part, which is going to be the connector. Now if I get the ends, here at the end, so unscrew this, and then we're going to be kneading that up a little bit. This will then go all the way to the end, you push this in, all the way to the end, and then you screw it. Oh, I had a little pop then as well. Now if I tug that, that ain't going anywhere. I'm really tugging that. And then we get the end bit here. Um, I'm gonna bend this over. Screw that in. Make sure it's nice and tight. And now we have a very long patch lead, which uh, I really need. I'm back. So, <laughs> from the video, the clip you just saw me when I was cutting the cable, uh, I've started putting the board together. Um, get this, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So, this is the kind of board, how it is at the moment, um, which looks all right. So, this will be here, I'm going to talk about it in a second. So, I've got the Spark, I've got the Outer Five, I've got the brand new pedal from Hampstead Amps, uh, the Odyssey, which is a very, very cool pedal. I still need to do a demo of this. Um, it's phenomenal. Um, I've got uh, King Fuzz, Volume, Wah, Tuna, Chorus, uh, Phase, Hall of Fame, and the Vapor Trail. Uh, Angry Charlie is now off. So that's what's going on. Now, the problem I was having, first of all, a massive shout out to the tech guy from Guitar Guitar in Epsom. I've just literally come back from here. So this Spark Boost, I think I mentioned it in a previous clip. Um, I, I accidentally deleted some clips, I think. And you know what, a lot of YouTubers, you know, it looks all perfect on video. A lot of times it all goes wrong. <laughs> okay, you lose clips, battery runs out, SD card, you lose SD card, it's a nightmare. But um, I mentioned that uh, the lovely Andy from a company I can't remember, I want to put them right here, um, sent me uh, some washers and clips and whatnot for this. 
and I said that I needed a washer, it didn't fit and that kind of stuff. Chatting to the tech guy in Guitar Guitar and I said, oh, have you got any washers at all? And I said, I've got the main bit. And he went, oh, it's fine, tighten it for me. Boom, done. I was like, oh, I could have done that, but that's amazing, you know, he's, he's a lovely bloke. So, wherever the tech guy is in Guitar Guitar and Epsom, go to him for your tech needs. Really nice chap. But, so, the problem I'm having. So, there's a spark. Uh, on and you can see I've got this lead bit there and it's quite a bulky one um, and then the Hampstead and the Seymour Duncan are top mounted which is great um, now this is where the problem is happening because my, my uh, uh, volume pedal and the wah I need a little bit of room so I can get the lead in and out because this is my first uh, in the chain you know the guitar goes into the wah that's how i do it anyway so it's then trying to fit everything else um in which will be a problem and now my battery's running out on my camera so um i went and bought another packet of <laughs> evidence audio patch cable and i just got some pancake mxr and hopefully this will do the job and i can fit everything on and we're going to be all right so Oh, and then the bulbs in my car's gone as well. So I had to get some new bulbs for that. And the battery and the fob's going as well. So it's all going wrong. But, um, ah, oh, this is a day in life of me. It works. really quick I've got to shoot but I've done it I've done it so here's the board now unfortunately the spark boost is going there um, but it's not working for some reason uh, I need to fiddle with that but uh, and I just need to redo this lead here I need to do another one which is a bit longer but all in all I'm really happy with that so yeah it took a few hours um, I got better at the cabling uh, was it the kind of trimming um, I went like I said went out and got some more I pretty much used all the evidence audio patch um, apart from one MXR from the 805 to the Spark but it's not working at the moment for some reason so um, I'm gonna go back now I've got lessons so I've got to shoot back for a lesson but uh, I'm gonna take my Spark with me and just see if it's uh, the the power or something I've done a couple of pa uh, things with it but um it's been on its way out for a while hopefully I don't have to buy enough one because it's money but uh, but no that's the board. I'm really, really pleased. Uh, I've got a tidy at this flat now, or I'll get a bollocking <laughs> by the women. But um, no, nah, I'm really. So the spark. So when the spark decides it wants to be friends, that is how it will be looking. So, uh, and these evident, uh, evidence audio leads are great. I'm really, really pleased. Um, you can hear a difference. I just had a quick bash now for my little Vox AC4, which I've got, which is right there. So that kind of lives under the table. And of course, every time I'd made a new ca uh, patch cable, I was testing it. So always test before you connect it. That's the last thing you want. So, right, I've got a shoot. I'm sure this will be now me going and doing a full on play with it.
fast forward another week or so and uh, the board is up and running. Um, really happy of it. Uh, I just did a whole week's worth of uh, studio work with it. And uh, really, it, no, uh, it's so much neater than my last board. Um, it just kind of pleases me. Uh, I'm really happy with the sounds and everything like that. Um, so everything's there, what you were seeing earlier. The one thing I will say, um, from the Hall of Fame to the volume pedal, or vice versa, sort of way you look at it, I do have an old blue uh, patch cable. Um, one of the evidence, or evidence, have you pronounce it, apologies, um, wasn't working fully, and I took it apart, put it back together, made another lead, still wasn't quite working, and then it did start to work, so I was kind of running out of time, so because I was in the studio all week, I thought I don't want anything dying on me, I put that the blue one in, and it was all good. Uh, but I did use the patch, uh, the one I made. I did use that uh, a couple of times uh, when I had to go into a DI, and uh, a, a direct injection box, <laughs> the DI box, and um, it was working fine. So I will take that blue one out and put that in, but uh, for the moment it's there. But always good. So um, you were hearing some sounds earlier, I had a bit of delay happening there as well. This is just the amp. All good there. Um, and then obviously I'm going to the wah, wah into the out of five, out of five to Odyssey, Odyssey to King Fuzz, King Fuzz to phase 90, phase 90 to the chorus, uh, chorus to the Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame into the, oh sorry, beg your pardon, after the chorus it goes to the volume pedal, then volume pedal to the Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame into the vapor trail. Uh, God, I get confused myself. And then um, the tuner's just going into the tuner input of the volume pedal, what makes life really, really cool. So, um, yeah, you heard the amp. Do another couple of sounds. This is the 805. So, oh, should say, my spark boost. It doesn't want to work. So I need to take the back out and I need, to, I need to do something to it. So it would usually be here, like you were seeing. Um, but uh, it doesn't want to work at the moment. It's kind of a, when, if I uh, undo the, the washer nut, it's fine. Uh, well, I say fine, obviously it's loose, but it, it's coming on. Once you put that new washer on, um, it's not working. So uh, it's a bit annoying, but I'll have to try and fix that at some point. So yes, that's the only thing that's missing from earlier. Um, bit of a pain in the bottom, but never mind. So yeah, this is the 805. <laughs> So I kind of got it set, kind of doing what the boost was doing, the spark boost, but obviously with a bit more gain. I might take the drive down a little bit there and push the volume up a little bit more. Odyssey by Hampstead, uh, the people who make my beautiful amplifiers. Brand new pedal from them. Um, you can do so many different sounds of it. At the moment, I have it set to this.
good. And then we got the fuzz. Uh, well, King Fuzz, I should say, by Bigfoot. Um... <coughs> Uh, and then we got a bit of phase if I want. got chorus and I've got it kind of set to a bit of a Leslie kind of sound um, could I be doing some stuff with my band soon uh, the Mike Bradley band actually plug plug Camden uh, assembly the old bar fly in Camden I'm playing there on Sunday the 8th of April uh, so come down <laughs> but I've got it kind of set as a bit of a Leslie thing Reverb and delay, really. Um, just a little, just a little bit. And then this Hall of Fame, um, I, I'm not using it because I've got reverb from the amp, but uh, if I do use it with reverb from the amp, I have it set so it's on um, the modulation sound, so you get a beep load of it. So it's nice, you know, uh, I'd probably have to adjust the delay now, but that kind of stuff. Uh, let's boost this up a little bit now. Um, yeah, so if I'm doing kind of swells. You know, all that kind of jazz. And then last but not least, uh, my wawa. guys uh hope you've enjoyed this journey <laughs> with me on this uh pedal board build uh when i um saw some uh clips of my old t-rex board you know it's like oh it looks so yucky and grimy should say i've got a hell of a case for it look at the size of this thing it's huge so uh it certainly protects it and uh yeah it can make it a bit of a pickle when it's in the car um, you know, a bag, you know, it's pros and cons, isn't it? So it'd be uh, certainly protective when in the back of vans or that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, if I'm just take it to a rehearsal or something, it's like, oh, I want a bag for it. So I might actually try and find a bag for it as well. But anyway, guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the pedal board journey with me. 
and uh, this is the pedals I'm using now. You know what us guitar players are like, we're forever changing, <laughs> forever chasing that magical tone. Um, but no, I am, uh, so far I'm happy, I'm happy with it. So uh, I think the next thing I'd like to get is probably a H9 actually. Uh, that, that would be nice to get I think. But uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, do head over to my website, mikebradleymusic.com. You can get other lessons there, and of course you can get my music there, because I've been getting messages from people saying, have you got music on iTunes? It's like, yeah, but of course the beauty thing of uh, YouTube, people, new people are seeing me all the time, which is amazing. So thank you all for love and support. But yeah, head over to MikeBradyMusic.com and uh, you can find out more about me and get some stuff uh, if you haven't done so already. Thank you very, very much. Mike Bradley very much signing out. <laughs>